Hello everyone, my name is Rachna and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today's session is dedicated to GATE 2026. You must be wondering what is this GATE examination and how I am eligible to apply for this exam. Right, so in today's session, I'm going to talk about the introduction of GATE, the exam pattern, eligibility and the benefit of cracking this examination and also uh, everything about GATE from notification till how to obtain your scorecard. I will help you with everything, right? Well, I will suggest you to join my Telegram channel to get updated uh, PDF and notes and everything. And in this video, you are going to get a complete information. So you don't have to worry about anything. Just relax and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so let's start the session here. The first thing I'm going to talk about the introduction of GATE. Right, so GATE is an all India examination, which is conducted conducted across the country in eight zones. Right. So we can compare GATE with NET examination. NET is also a all India level examination, right? There that you qualify and you are eligible to become assistant professor and uh, you can also take admission into PhD. And the GATE examination is also for taking admission into PhD, right? And enrolling in your masters. So you must be wondering that uh, GATE examination is only for engineering students, how arts students uh, can be able to apply for this exam, right? So IITs have actually started from 2021, this examination into six humanity and social sciences subject, right? So that is six subject, In this department right so which are this these subjects economics english linguistics philosophy psychology and sociology these are the subjects in which you can apply if you have studied any of these in your uh, graduation or post graduation you are eligible to apply for gate 2026 right so if these are divided with codes also so economics code is c1 english is c2 linguistic is c3 philosophy c4 and psychology c5 sociology c6 right so when you apply for uh, the, the for the examination you use these certain codes right so you do not use english instead of you use c2 right my channel is dedicated uh, for english um, literature right so uh, we will use c2 only right so iit has started these examination from 2021 and now this is 2025 right now next year it will conduct 2026 examination right so these are the introduction part uh, very small and brief right? Now I will talk about who are eligible for this exam. Right, so that is the most crucial part. You must, you also must be wondering whether I am eligible or not, right? So those who are uh, completed their graduation, those who are completed their graduation or they are completed their post graduation, both are eligible. Right, it is the basic criteria is graduation only. Right, even if you are in your third year, still you can apply for this. And if I talk about the benefit of qualifying this examination, so the first benefit if you are a graduate and you have completed your graduation, so you can take admission in post graduation into IITs. Post graduation into IITs or IISC. 
second benefit we can uh, talk about that you can if you are a post graduate you can take an admission into phd into iits or isc or nits right third benefit you can also apply for assistant professor examination with iits right so these are the benefit and if i talk about the certification so after the issuance of the result your certificate of gate is valid till 3 years and within 3 years what you can do you can take the admission in your post graduation in your phd right 3 years only it is valid these are the benefits right second thing i'm going to talk about is the pattern so what is the exam pattern right so basically it's an exam pattern so the paper is actually divided into two parts and i will only be talking with reference to english right so exam pattern the paper is divided into two parts right so paper 1 is there and paper 2 is there right so paper 1 is actually dealing with general awareness that has 10 questions in it right 10 question for 15 marks and the paper one is actually a common paper to everyone it is a common paper common paper for everyone and paper two is the concerned subject so whatever you have uh, studied in your graduation or post graduation that will be simply known as your concerned subject right so paper two will have 40 questions 40 questions and that is 85 marks right and in paper 2 in english that has two section one section is first one is your reasoning and comprehension and the second one is english literature so this is the exam pattern there is negative marking as well and also the uh, paper code is assigned so for general awareness the paper code is ga and for reasoning and comprehension because we are dealing here with humanity and social sciences so hss and this code is xh right so for these two papers we have xh and for reasoning and comprehension we have b1 and for english literature we have xh and c2 c2 as i have already told you c2 is for english literature right so these are the pattern and now i will talk about the negative marking before you learn about negative marking you should learn about what kind of a questions they are going to ask because gate uh, asks a uh, different type of questions the first is your mcq so you must be aware with mcq mcq is multiple choice question sorry that is mcq all right mcq is multiple choice question when the question is of one mark then your negative marking will be one third and when it is of two marks then the your negative marking will be two third right you have to be very careful with mcq now second is msq that is multiple selection question so in this one question will be asked so you have to select uh, multiple options and in the question paper uh, you will actually uh, get to know if it is whether it is mcq or msq now third one is your nat nat is numerical aptitude questions in nats we have to enter the answer in number form so there are three types of questions which are normally asked in the gate examination right and if i talk about negative marking so there is no negative marking for msq and nat no negative marking for nat and no negative marking for msq right when uh, and one more doubt students have uh, what if uh, any question suppose it is a question and it has Three, three options right, right out of four, three options are right. So, and the student has only selected two options, right? Third one he didn't understand, or for any reason he could not select that. So, will he be getting the marks for that? For that, the answer is no. There is no partial marking. If you select all three correctly, then then only you are going to get all the marks. If you select partially, then you are not going to get any mark for that, right? So there is no partial marking with MSQ. You have to 
take care uh, while solving the question how to solve mcq how to solve msq how to solve nat right to make your life easy what i have done i have uploaded all the previous year question paper on my channel i will also share the link in the description box there you can uh, see so paper 1 paper 2 both i have uploaded you can have a look there and uh, how to solve and how to use a calculator i have shared everything uh, in my video so you can uh, do watch that uh, we are done with the general introduction we are done with the uh, pattern of the paper we are done with the eligibility criteria and yeah, now i will talk about the uh, when the notification will be issued and uh, when you can apply for the examination and when you can sit for that right so let's move ahead but before we move ahead let me just tell you that i have launched one course that is for uh, gate or ugc net and grf because the syllabus is almost same if you are willing to uh, get classes from me so you can enroll for that i will also share one uh, uh, link in the description box so there you can enroll yourself and i will uh, get in touch with you the classes will be commencing from 1st of august 2025 so uh, enroll yourself and um, give yourself a better future all right everyone so now let's talk about gate 2026 so from gate 2026 everything is fixed right when the notification will come and uh, when the application will start when the result date uh, will be there uh, everything is there so for this one total subjects are 30 iit is having included two new subjects so total subjects are 30 in which the gate examination are uh, conducted and the notification will come on last week of july last week of july 2025 so after almost 10 days you will see the notification and registration if i talk about so that will start from august 2025 and that will be till october 2025 and october second week that will be for people who are late with a late fee october second week is going to be with a late fee still you can apply right and that is now this time the gate examination is organized by iit guwahati right so you can see the logo on my screen here that is the logo of I iit guwahati there are total seven iits and they conduct the uh, gate examination one by one and uh, application correction will be uh, november 2025 so november 2025 and let me talk about the fee right so for sc st pwd female the application fee is 900 900 rupee and for uh, other student other candidate or general category fee is 1800 rupees and for foreign nationals the application fee is us dollar 100 to 200 so these are the uh, application fee now let me talk about the admit card when will the admit card be issued so admit card will come in january 2026 second week second week and one more thing i just forgot to add here that uh, if you select two paper so that is not for english uh, for english we only select one paper and for other candidates who are watching this video so for uh, them if you select two paper so the fee is doubled or in, in case if you apply outside this august to october window then you also have to pay the late fee and that is 2000 plus something all right so the admit card will come in january 2026 and then exam will be exam will be in february 2025 sorry 26 first and second week right so four dates are given for all the 30 uh, subjects 
and after giving the examination the student are very uh, very much worried like when the answer key will will come so everything is fixed answer key is normally answer key is given in february itself that is end of the uh, month right so that is around 7 february 2026 and result will be announced on 19th of march last time also the result was announced on the same day 19th of march 2026 for this examination and then after a month time you will get your scorecard scorecard 28th of march 2026 you will receive your scorecard and then you are like eligible to go for your uh, admission in phd or go master program with iit right so that is a very uh, wonderful opportunity to uh, you know head towards and get into iits uh, which gives you a very bright and uh, stable future right everyone so uh, these are all about uh, gate 2026 i hope all the doubts are clear about this examination still in case if you have any doubts you can just uh, shoot in the comment box and i will definitely uh, reply to you and uh, now second request is uh, um kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon uh, so that you get all the notification and updates regarding this examination all right and also you can join my telegram channel i'll uh, share the link with you in the description box so there you'll get all the notification updates again in my telegram right and, and if you are in touch with me in both the places so whenever the notification will come for gate 2026 i'll just inform you uh, over my channel or over the telegram all right so if you want to qualify gate examination so i have already made one video on this uh, gate top 10 tricks to qualify the same that you can watch uh, to get the idea how to prepare for the examination and also for if you want to know the cut off of uh, previous uh, year and you can also visit my channel and check out all the videos related to gate examination right so with this i'll take your leave everyone thank you so much for watching till here and subscribing to my channel and uh, i'll see you again in my next session till then happy learning and stay in touch thank you